Hanging out back in the 80s. Hanging out today. 80s Saturday morning starter pack. Cartoons a lot more than a Nintendo. I still do this because they showed me this when I was a kid. Yeah, I still cut them up, but the one I saw was a turtle. You can't call yourself a Star Wars fan if you don't know who this is. Remember when McDonald's used these styrofoam containers? Ever ready 9 volt transistor battery. I vividly remember these. I always liked these batteries as a kid just because it was the cat with 9 lives. Remember family vacations in the luxurious family van? We didn't actually have one of these, but I think some of our other family did. But I definitely remember them. Who grew up making mixtapes off the radio? I think we all did. I had an entire series of mixtapes labeled by volume number. I built these in the 70s and would race down hills. Won a couple of races too. It's a wonder we survived. No helmet, knee pads, or padding. We steered with a rope. I had something similar to this as a kid, except it was a full square box instead of just the back there. But I steered with two sticks. <laughs> it basically had a handbrake, one on each side. And you'd pull back on the sticks and the other end would drag on the ground. Depending on how hard you pulled them, would change how fast that you were turning in that direction. And if you pulled them both, you'd just slow down and stop. Sometimes that stop would come pretty sudden though. And if the sticks broke and you're going downhill pretty fast, you're just along for the ride. Raise your hand if Tom and Jerry is one of your favorite cartoons. When dinner was served on paper plates, but you wanted to class it up a little bit. Man, I still use these. Matter of fact, I just used one a few hours ago. But it's not about classing it up. It's so that you can buy cheaper paper plates and you still be strong enough to hold your food. If you recognize this scene, then you've seen one of the greatest films ever made. I will never forget the taste from these cups. 1985, 2023. And your mom gives you a pre-ripped half piece of double mint gum, and it tastes like perfume and purse dirt. That's a pretty darn good description, actually. My generation's first iPhone. Today, I found the ruins of an ancient civilization. I just thought about this, but they should put a Bachbuster in a history museum. What's your favorite 80s movie soundtrack? That's actually a pretty hard one. And even though I'm not a classical music type person, I think I'd actually go with the original Star Wars. As kids, we used to laugh at Al Bundy. As adults, we became Al Bundy. I just found this in the depths of your memories. Seeing them on here now, I do remember those. I had to pause and zoom in. Because I swear I saw Elf in this <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, I'd have to go back and look too. At any age where I finally understand why people were so excited to win an appliance. Yeah, the prices of appliance these days is crazy. I don't need a refrigerator that can connect to the internet. And I don't need a washer that thinks it's smarter than I am. I'm this old. That's actually nicer than the one in my truck, let alone it has AC. Warning, do not feed after midnight. There's only a few people today that would get this. However, with the audience here on my channel, most of you understand this. If you don't understand this costume, you're too young for me. That was a great TV show. A guy ordered this drink and immediately left. Genius. Typing a screen will never be as satisfying as slamming one of these down really hard. I always hated those chords though. As a kid, this was my iPad. I've still never had a tablet. I used my phone or my computer. It's good enough. 
Son, can I go on the Xbox? Me, no, it's too violent. You should play family games like I used to. 30 years ago, I think the professor was strangled in the library with a rope. If this is the future, I'd rather live in the past. Yep, that's for sure. That's a pretty nice Chevy, too. I have an 86 M1008, which is basically the military version of the Chevy K30. One of these has to go. Which one would you guys pick? I'm gonna have to say oatmeal cream pie. I could do it without them. Organ Trail, 1852. Doctor, any final words? Man, unaliving of dysentery. <coughs> I just hope that this gruesome experience isn't made into a game for children to play. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what they were thinking. The official field trip Yeti in the 80s and 90s. It's 1985. What are you listening to? Drop it down in the comments. I found a photo of me in high school. New memory unlocked. This is the childhood I knew and loved. Yeah, you went out and played in the dirt, built stuff out of wood and sticks and whatever you happen to find or what you could happen to sneak out of your dad's shed without him seeing. Never forget where you came from. This was just one of those weird gimmick things that caught on for some reason. Just one more time, I'd like an 80s Saturday morning. Dear Vanilla Ice, remember when you told us if there was a problem, yo, you'd solve it? Well, I think it's time to make good on that promise. Sincerely, all 80s kids. The ultimate 80s coffee table. An ottoman, surface for candy dishes or appetizers, cabinet to store miscellaneous things, and a general thing to run into. That last one is especially true. You'd be walking through the living room and hit your shin straight on it, fall off the couch and face plant into it, and a lot of other. And it seemed like everyone had one of these exact same coffee tables. We had one very similar to this. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. Got cat? I got 80s music down here. This is a trap. 80s kids. This is how we had fun. One of the ways. I don't care if I'm five years old or 55 years old. I always love watching an episode of Tom and Jerry. I think most everyone in all generations can agree on this one. We learned how to drive in the snow by doing donuts in empty parking lots. Yeah, you do that nowadays, and at the very least you're probably gonna get a ticket. Back in my day, we didn't wear helmets. We'd just lie there unconscious until someone came to get us for dinner. Where does it hurt? Headache. Stomach ache. Making a movie reference and being the only person in the room old enough to understand it. The last time I had faith in the news was when it was with Huey Lewis. If you can hear this picture, we can be friends. Name an event that occurred in the 80s that changed your life for the better. I'd say the best event for me personally was when my grandmother moved in to live with us. I'd never seen this glass in one store, but growing up, it was legendary. You know, this is true, it was like everybody had this set of glasses. But now that I think about it, I don't know if I ever saw it for sale in any store anywhere. Did everyone order this from the JCPenney's catalog or what? You can only bring back one. I'm pretty sure I know what most people will pick, so I'm not going to say anything here, but you guys drop your choice down in the comments. How many people remembers Fun Dip? They're basically just eating Kool-Aid on a stick. At least one person in your family had this in the late 80s and early 90s, with the water hose and the house. 
I think somebody better go turn that water off, or you're going to have a flood in the house. More than that, you're going to have to drain half that back down. I could just see a kid running there and jump on the bed and the whole thing pop. But yeah, I had a cousin that had a water bed. I'd always wanted one, but I slept on it one night, and I never wanted one ever again. I think my back still hurts because sleeping on that thing. We've come full circle. Yeah. Now they got touchscreen landline corded phones. 1990s were like, what if we made the kids eat cheese in really odd ways? This is true, actually. And you can still buy all of these. 80s charades. Describe anything from the 80s and see who can guess what you're describing. It was silver. And when it reached its goal, it left a trail of fire. Yeah, that's too easy. You guys leave yours down in the comments. Talking to late millennials and Gen Z. When I fell, nothing would happen to me. I wasn't delicate like you kids. You could eat like a king at Ponderosa. I remember when I worked at Circuit City in Indianapolis. There was a Ponderosa just over from the store. And I'd usually get the 10 ounce sirloin steak there. This was long before social networks and texting. You would meet new friends at these hubs. Places like Capitol Records Swap Meets. Where you'd buy bootleg albums and posters on Saturday nights. Or Okie Dog. This place with the nastiest chili dogs you'll ever eat. Music was definitely a way to find out if someone was a person you'd want to hang out with. Quote and photo by artist John Brian King. That's kind of how we did things back then, isn't it? The original Ghostbusters movie set in 1984. No matter how much you love animals, you've tried to... This dog. And I could swear that there was a version at some point. But you actually could. I mean, it's not like it unalived it or stopped the game. It was more like you just slapped it. And he'd make his funny face and then disappear and then continue on. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but... I could have swore that you could. Call me weird, but when I was little, I used to dip these in water so they tasted better. I remember doing this. I didn't know anyone else done that. Isn't it strange? That on odd things like this, a lot of us done the same things, but we didn't know anyone else did it. Me sliding the straw in and out of my McDonald's cup. Who remembers how men used to smell in the 80s? Never stop dreaming. Freddy Krueger. Someone bites the dust. Queen. There is another. That was a good song. Me and my cousins used to play that song all the time on the jukebox when we were shooting pool. I'm this old. Yep. Music billboards of the 80s. The Simpsons own this home on a single salary from a husband who didn't go to college. This was considered normal in 1989 when the show began. As far as for trying to get a job these days, the best thing that younger guys could do is not go to college at all. Go find a good trade school or find a job where you're a paid apprentice. You'll have a lot better work, a lot better pay, won't have all the college debt, and you won't have wasted four to 12 years of your life. Let's settle this. The best old school flavor goes to, that is a difficult choice. Grape, orange, and watermelon were the best three in my opinion. If I had to choose one, I guess my vote would go to watermelon. So that's one vote to watermelon. Which one do you guys vote for? If this video brought you a smile, please share it with someone else. Check out my other videos here on the channel, stored in Acorn Stash. I thank you all for watching, everyone stay safe, and I hope this video has brightened up your day. Until next time, this is Acorn, signing off.